All right, welcome back. Time to go into the cave in the forest, clear away the bug Pokemon, and find the gym leader. Should be somewhere this way. Have to backtrack a little bit. Uh oh, my repels wore off. I'm gonna have to use another one. To just put repels on my registered slot. Where is. I can never find them. They're always hidden in this bag full of junk. Oh, wait, shouldn't it be here? There it is. We are going to use it. There we go. Alright, so I need to go back to the cave, which is. Up here, it's really hard to see at nighttime. And again, I'm sorry that it's always nighttime when I'm playing this game. I'm just always awake during the night, and I'm rarely awake during the day. So I use the bug spray, clear away all these bug Pokemon. Hooray! They scared away. Looks like you made them angry. Almost went down that hole. I need to get this super repel. Down we go. Uh-oh, there's Pokemon trainers down here? Bug Maniac Roach. Magnitude. Magnitude 8. Oh. What? <laughs> I thought that would be super effective. Froak is a fire bug type. I wonder if I can use fire type moves against it. I mean, it's probably not going to be effective. Let's just try it. Oh, it is. It's it's kind of weird. <laughs> Hooray! Killed that thing. Oh, that thing. Oops, I used the wrong move. I should use Flamethrower. <laughs> Flamethrower! Super effective! How many Pokemon does this guy have? I think he has six. Struggle bug. I'm gonna look up Sponary. Sponary. Oops. Wrong thing. Green Wookie. See what type he is, because I don't know. I know he's a bug type, but what other type is he? He is bug and water, okay. Um I mean bug water, I don't know. Let's just use strength. Trying to think of like, it, do I have any moves that are super effective against it? I don't think so. Hooray! Time to use our magic soda pop. And continue on with our journey. And I don't, I don't know. Like while I'm here. 
Was there something? Quick call. Wait, don't I have a miracle seed? Seed that boosts the power of grass type moves? Let's give this to Galen. And I have a Gyarados as well. Let's give uh, Mystic Water to Gyarados. I'm surprised I haven't done this yet. And Silver Powder, Silver ups bug type moves. I don't think I have anything that ups uh, steel type moves. Do. No, so let's give. Actually, nah. I was gonna give another item to S51, but since I don't use him, there would be no point. Oh, wow. I might die here. Let's hope that this kills it. Oh crap, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Maybe I'll just stick with Astronite. Gonna all rely on Astronite to kick some freaking ass. The rocks. Gotta smash those bugs with rocks. I don't know what I was thinking with fire. Fire doesn't work against bugs, it's all about the rocks. <laughs> There, there. And then my potions. You know, I'm actually going to switch. Does Astronite still have the Amulet coin? I think it does. I don't need the I don't need money anymore, so I'm just going to give Astronite a um, the uh, egg, the lucky egg. I wish I had multiple lucky eggs. I'll just give everyone a lucky egg. All right, time to stop wasting time. Let's get through this. Well, I have rock slide. Super effective. Critical hit. You know, I should be getting close to learning Psychic. That would be awesome. Psychic is like the uh, ultimate Psychic move. It's always good to battle every trainer just because they give you so much experience and money. Rock slide. Level 42. Sweet. Power gem. What in the world is power gem? I've never heard of that. These are attacks with a ray of light that sparkles as if it were made of gemstones. Is that a new move? I've never heard of that one. So I could get rid of rock slide. You know, I might as well. Yeah, let's just get rid of Rock Slide. <gasps> Psychic! He's also learning Psychic. Two moves at once. The target is hit by strong telekinetic force and may also reduce the target's special defense stat. 90 power. So I think I'm gonna keep extra sensory. Hmm. I mean, it's always good to have multiple different types just in case. Doubles its power if the user is poison burned or has paralysis. Yeah, I'll just get rid of Fatcade and learn uh, Psychic. Hopefully Psychic has a cool animation. Throat. So we can see our new move, one of them anyway. Let's look at Power Gem. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. I like that.
power jam. I still love this Pokemon. This is still my favorite. I mean, I don't think any any other Pokemon in this game is not going to compare to Ash Knight. He's just so strong and so just awesome. You can learn so many different types of moves, too. And Psychic is just the best. Nothing compares to Psychic. Alright, down the hole we go. Uh-oh. Hey, you over there! Pals effect wore off. Do you want to use another one? Nope. Oh, here's the gym leader. He's caught in the web. Could you be... Did you come to rescue me? Oh, thank Arceus. They all appeared at once. My Pokemon were overwhelmed. Yeah, it showed up. I shudder to think what could have happened. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Untie me quickly. Oh, that's a spirit. Good to feel the air flowing down there again. What? You've never seen a man in a skirt before? Kids these days? <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here before they notice. Oh dear. I think she's... Uh-oh. I need to save... The Sika... Mater? The Sika Mater? Sika Mater. Mater. Sika Mater. <laughs> the bug's queen. She only wakes up once every few years, but when she does, she's always hungry. Oh crap. Boss fight. Look, I hate to be... I hate to do this since I'm the gym leader and all, but all my Pokemon are fainted, so I won't stand a chance. You have to defeat her, and don't even think about trying to catch her. <laughs> I don't know what the bugs would do, but I suspect it's impossible anyway. It's seriously impossible? I'm gonna try to catch it anyway. Here we go. Seek a mother. She's going to attack. Look at that thing. I wonder if the thing has a uh, a ball form. I'm gonna look it up real quick before I begin the battle. Do do. Oh, it's a legendary. Bug normal legendary Pokemon of the Tanger region. Well, before I do anything, should I should I try to catch it? Now let's just use Power Gym. Super effective. Almost killed it. It healed itself. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay, I'm gonna to try to throw a Pokeball at it. Let's just see what happens. Oh, I can catch it. He said I couldn't catch it. Lies. I'm gonna catch this, but this is a legendary bug Pokemon. That's awesome. Killed himself again. You know, I think I can do a power gem and he won't die. If he dies, I'll just restart the battle. It's okay. <gasps> See, 1 HP. Keeps using this heal order. Let's try a psychic. Attack order. Super effective! Oh, that killed me! <laughs> oh, that killed me fast. I don't even know who to send out. Let's send out this thing. My amiibo Pokemon. Just looking to see what uh, moves I have. Let's uh, go to my bag. Oops. I should have bought some Ultra Balls. Well, I do have five Ultra Balls. This is probably going to be a super hard Pokemon to catch. I'm pretty sure it's possible, though. That's the key. It's possible. Dang it. Maybe I should use a Netball. Oh wait, she cannot be captured in the wild. However, the player is able to create another sort of raising a female s'more spony and Trissy to level 45 while holding the royal jelly, making it the only legendary obtainable by evolution. Wait a minute. I'm reading the wiki here. There's only one Sycamater, or whatever this Pokemon's called, and she is found in the deepest anthill. The player has to fight her in order to save Tiku, and she cannot be captured in the wild. However, the player is able to create another Sycamater by raising a female s'more, spony, and 
Trick Wii to level 45 while holding Royal Jelly, making it the only legendary Pokemon available by evolution. So I can create one of these things. Okay, so let's just, uh... I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I guess we'll send out my Achilles. Just finish him off. Flamethrower. I think he's trying to land Screech. Nope. Yes. Screech. Apparently, Sikandar left behind a jelly material behind. Obtained royal jelly. Uh oh. Did it, you won. Okay, so the royal jelly. Words cannot express my gratitude. If you hadn't shown up when you did, I'd will. I won't mince words. I'd be bug food. By now, it's due to your courage and your Pokemon bravery that you managed to save us both. What is your name? You seem like a very opponent trainer. I look forward to battling you in my gym. Alright, you should have gave me something for saving you. Some money or something. But the royal jelly that I just got... Okay, so I have to raise a S'more, Spony, or Tris Trisweed at level 45. And then, if it's holding a royal jelly, it'll make... It'll uh, evolve it into the uh, Sycamatar legendary. Um... So do I even have any of those Pokemon? Probably not. I should look in my PC, but uh, there's no PC in this region, so I may have to actually catch one in the wild if I don't have one. But that's really cool. I can actually evolve one of those Bug-type Pokemon into Sycamatur or whatever by uh, using the Royal Jelly. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that. I just need to find the uh, find a Pokemon that can evolve into it, and I can't do it now since there's no Pokemon centers here. This is a cool little like mansion. Hello, hello, the gym leader is Tico. He's a dancer. He's blazing steps. Blah blah blah. So he's a fire type. So I'm just gonna keep my uh, Astronite in first place since he has Rock type moves. There we go. Let's go battle this guy. Oh, there's Flagger. That's one of the Pokemon I could have bought at that store. Power Jam. I'll pro probably be able to one-hit every Pokemon in this gym. But yeah, I'm just really excited right now because I can actually raise a legendary Pokemon. That is insane. I think that's like the only legendary ever that you can actually evolve from something else. I should also look up his moves. Sycamutter. Sycamutter. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, like, whatsoever. Mankey's almost, uh, he's getting up there. I think at level 26 he evolves into Primate. It's either 26 or 29. Or maybe it's 28. I think it's 28. Oops, I think I might have messed up. Astronaut, you're the best. The, the le legendary bug type that I fought earlier, it has a wicked high base HP stat. Really, it's gonna be awesome to get that thing.
Just gonna use the same move over and over again. No real point to use anything else. I mean, I could use Psychic just to see what it looks like. Level 44. Man, special attack 132. And he's pretty fast, too. I wasn't expecting him to be so fast. He's pretty much an Alakazam. He's a rock type Alakazam. No. So I can't move rocks to other sides. Okay, so I have to restart. I know what I did wrong. Move that there, and then I have to go this way, move that here, and then go back up, move this there, and there we go. Let's see if you can match my steps. Cool trainer sword. Oh, she has a Raptorch too. If only I could catch other trainers' Pokemon. Could probably uh, trade that on the uh, multiplayer trading network. Wait. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's a, it's fire ground, so that rock type move or that ground type move did not work. It's okay. Flagger. It's like a fire cat. Oops, did I use a wrong move? Maybe it's the wrong move there. Eh? Yeah, he's dark pulse. Let's try psychic. I just want to see what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Critical hit. 24. Okay, I activated something. I probably need to go this way now. Could be wrong. Yes, yeah, so this is open, this is open, this is open. That activated something. And this way, one more fight. See if you can counter my Blaze moves. You know what Pokemon I miss? I miss Blaze again. He was a cool Pokemon. There is Chemical! That's the thing that I thought was super cute and I want it. Look at that thing. It looks awesome. If I ever get enough berries, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna purchase that Pokemon. Uh, Power Gem. Power Gym. Super effective, you're dead. Level 45. Cosmic Power. The user absorbs a mystic power from space to raise its defense and special defense stats. Not worth it. You know what? I should see if Astronaut learns any other moves, because from what I thought, I think Psychic is probably the best move he's ever going to learn. He learns, uh, let's see, he learns Psy Shock, which is uh, pretty good. It's like the same, it's a little bit less powerful than Psychic. And he also learns Stone Edge, which is pretty strong, and Synchronize, which is, holy crap, that's even way better than Psychic. Okay, so he does learn some cool moves later on. Um, the last move he learns is at level 60, which is pretty high, like of a level to learn moves. I think most Pokemon typically stop learning moves at like level 45 or so. I'm running out of PP, but that's okay. My PP is running out. I forgot what PP stands for, like Poke Points, Power Points. There's the gym leader, hello. I cannot thank you enough for bailing me out in the Anthel. Or Ant, Ant Hell. That's what it is. Is that what it's supposed to be? Ant Hell? The Ant Hell. <laughs> like, like fire, like hell? Is that what it's supposed to say? <laughs> that could have been a very unpleasant situation for all of this. I regret that I couldn't 
be at my full strength then, but now I'm ready to accept your challenge. The battle is like a dance. Blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Let's fight. Tico. Peter Tico would like to battle. Astronite. Power Gem. Super effective. Thank you, level 25. What in the world is assurance? I don't know. If the target has already taken some damage in the same turn, this attack's power is doubled. Okay. The target is thrown using the power of gravity and inflicts damage equal to the user's level. I mean, I guess that's a good move at high levels, but at low levels it's pretty crap. It inflicts greater damage on lower- okay, I'm just gonna remove low kick. Power jump. Shimakanda. Oh, that's the evolved form of that cute looking thing. I forgot what you call those. Chimeras or something? Where they're like one part one animal and one part another. It should be easy to kill, though. I'll probably kill it in one hit, to be honest. <laughs> yep. This is the easiest gym battle, I think, of our whole series. Oh, one more. Pajay. That's a really cool looking bird Pokemon. I kind of want to- I kind of want one of those. I wish my party was bigger. I wish I had like 10 slots instead of 6. There's so many cool Pokemon in this game. And I'll be honest, this has been like the most fun I think I've had with a Pokemon game since like maybe Ruby version or maybe even Red version. Like this has been an absolute blast to play. It's probably one of the best Pokemon games ever made, even though it's a custom fan made project. And I don't say that lightly, I've actually really enjoyed playing this. He outsped me, wow. Oh yeah, that thing has wicked high uh, speed. Critical hit, sweet, one hit KO. It is over. Level 47. Blazing battle, my eyes are still watering. Here you go, you earned it well. Salsa badge. <laughs> Salsa badge? That's a horrible name for a badge. You can use surf outside of battle. Here, take this TM as well. Overheat. It's an enormously powerful fire attack that leaves the user a little burned out. Use it wisely. I know where that's going. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. My S51 can learn overheat? Really? Its power is 130. The attack's recoil sharply reduces the user's special attack stat. Huh. You know what, let's get rid of Gyro Ball and just teach Overheat to S51. It seems like a, just a cool move to have. And let's also teach it to Archilles. Because Archilles doesn't really have... Well, I don't know. I mean, Flamethrower is good, but Overheat just seems so much more powerful. Uh, I kind of want to learn Overheat, but... This, this variety of moves is, I think it's more worthwhile to just keep a variety than it is to learn two like different fire type moves, so I'm just going to uh, not teach that. I was going to teach it to Achilles, but I decided, decided not to. Okay, so back to the beginning, we completed that gym. Congratulations, you are the best. Let's go heal up real quick. This is kind of like a perfect point to stop. I think... In the next episode, I may um, try to find whatever Pokemon I need to make that legendary bug type. 
and then I might start training it. I don't, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll get rid of my nuclear Gyarados because I've never used my nuclear Gyarados and uh, honestly, it just doesn't seem like something I would use. It's a really cool looking badass Pokemon, but it's just like, I don't think I'm ever going to use this Gyarados like ever, so uh, I might just replace him with that legendary bug type. Uh, but for now, I think I'm just going to, I guess, move on further. There's probably going to be some event happen be happening before I uh, leave this village. So let's just save here. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And stay tuned for the next one, because this game just continues to get better and better. And thanks for watching. Bye.